Okay, we're going to have another uh, writing practice for the start of this test. This is from 2015. Uh, we have uh, the passage is called Hedges, and it refers to, let me take my yellow. Mm, these are super cute, and they're going to be talking about that. Remember, the first read is just to understand the main idea. This is not a reading uh, test, it's a writing for editing and revising, so, but you still need to read it one time and understand the main idea, what they're talking about, and then you move on to the questions. If you see uh, a spelling mistake or a grammar mistake or a sentence that does, is not that clear, you may underline it. Don't give it too much of a thought, just keep on working and reading. Number one. Are you thinking about getting a new pet? Would you like to try something a little different? Get a hedgehog. A hedgehog is a mammal, and it is about the same size as a guinea pig. It has bright eyes and a pointy snout. The outside of a hedgehog is contained with sharp quills, but the underside of his animal, I'm sorry, of this animal is soft and fluffy. Hedgehogs or hedges as some people call them, are affectionate and they form strong bonds with their owners. That is something I didn't know. For example, it is important not to frighten a hedgehog, especially when it's still getting to know you. If, feels, if it feels threatened, it might stick you. Let me find my other page. It might stick you with its quills. But once a hedgehog considers you a friend, it will become a perfect companion. These animals don't shed the way some dogs and cats do. They don't bark, scratch the furniture, or have to be taken out for a walk on a rainy night. They like to play at night, but can be trying to play in the daytime. So whatever your schedule, you'll be able to enjoy spending time with your hedgie. And these animals live longer than gerbils, hamsters, and guinea pigs, which means that you'll be able to enjoy your pet for many years. Hedgehogs are also easy to care, care for. They eat high-quality cat food. Ooh, I didn't know they, they could eat cat food. Okay, I'm just going to put a check mark. Uh, although an occasional treat, such as bits of a banana or a scrambled egg, it is just fine. They need to be bathed with baby shampoo and a soft nail brush one, only once every couple of months. Best of all, most hedgehogs can be trained to use a little box just like a cat. Wow! If you're seriously considering getting a hedgehog, you need to know that you won't find one in an ordinary pet store. Hedges are considered exotic pets, so you'll have to go to a hedgehog breeder. Whoa, that's interesting. Okay, let's go to the questions. The central idea of Roland's paper is weak. Which of the following could replace sentence three? I'm going to underline what they want me to do. What do they want me to do? Replace sentence three. So it could be a better central idea. So which one of these four is the best? I don't know because I need to move my paper and I need to find my sentence three. I need to reread it. It says, would you like to try something a little different? Remember, if they're asking for sentence three to be replaced, I need to read sentence two. So I can connect the ideas and I'm going to use plug it in. So I'm going to read them aloud to myself. You can use your whisper phone. Um, so you read sentence two and then your choice. Sentence two and then letter B. Sentence two and then letter C. And you're going to try to find out by plugging it, plug it in the best choice. Okay? All right. Uh, would you like to try something a little different? For my paper, I would like to tell you that you should definitely and for sure get the hedgehog this time okay this sounds like it's just the speaking not actually writing um let's try another another sentence 
Would you like to try something a little different? Everyone likes to try different things. So this time, don't do the same thing again and get a hedgehog. Could be, but you're repeating thing and thing and thing and thing. Hmm, I'm not so sure. I'm not convinced. Let's try letter C. Would you like, remember, I'm reading, the, reading this one right here. Would you like to try something a little different? Instead of choosing a traditional pet, such as a dog, a cat, or a guinea pig, you might want to get a hedgehog. Actually, this one sounds nice. Would you like to try something different? Instead of choosing a traditional pet, you know, it sounds good. Let's try a little different. Would you like to try something a little different? Because you would like to try something that wasn't very normal. Get a headshot. <laughs> this doesn't sound good. My best choice, I'm going to use my red, is this one right here. That's what we do when we want to change sentences. Plug it in, read it aloud to yourself, try them, and see which one is the best choice. That's what we do. Let me read question two. It says, the word contain is not the right word for sentence six. Okay, before I can finish reading that, I need to move on to my sentence six. My sentence six is right here. I'm going to underline it with my yellow. The outside of a hedgehog is contained with sharp... Okay, it's not contained, it just has sharp quills. Contain means that they are inside, they are not inside. The outside of a hedgehog has sharp quills. Now that I understand what they are trying to do or, or, or express, I can see my question right here. My advice to you is to copy the sentence here. So you don't have to be back and forth, back and forth, because you need to plug it in to see which one is. Which one is the best choice? So, the outside of a hedgehog is, and then I'm going to plug it in. The outside, I, okay, I'm using my computer so I cannot write all of it, but you do, you have to do it. The outside of a hedgehog is, the outside, let me try. The outside of the hedgehog is contained. Okay, let's see. The outside of the hedgehog is included. That doesn't make sense, right? With quills, with sharp quills. With sharp quills. Okay, the outside of the hedgehog is included with sharp quilts. No, it's not included. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. The outside of the hedgehog is covered with sharp quilts. Yes, this what does. The outside of the hedgehog is wrapped with sharp quilts. Colored, of course not. Wrap, wrap is a distractor. It could be used, but the thing is that the best one, the best one is covered. The outside of the hedgehog is covered with sharp quilts. Okay, next question. Ronald, Roland <laughs> needs to use a more appropriate transition at the beginning of the sentence eight. Which of the following should replace, for example? I don't know. I need to find my sentence A. It's right here. So they're talking about the bones with the owners. And let me move this right here. Okay. For example, I'm going to use my yellow. For example, it's important not to frighten, frighten a hedgehog, especially when it's still getting to know you. For example... So I'm going to draw a line. It's important. I need to write my sentence. It's important not to frighten 
a hedgehog. I'm going to plug it in. So I need to read sentence seven. And they form a strong bonds with their owners. Therefore, it's important not to frighten a hedgehog. Doesn't make sense. Therefore, no. However, it's important not to frighten a hedgehog, especially when it's still getting to know you. So, this is the thing. If you frighten the hedgehog at the beginning, it will never trust you. I think that's what they're trying to say. Because the bond is very strong with the owner. So, at the beginning, work on the bond. Don't frighten the hedgehog. That's why it's important not to frighten it. Otherwise, it will never trust you. That's what it means. Okay. Mm. They form strong bonds with their owners. Therefore, it's important not to frighten, frighten a hedgehog. Okay. I'm thinking about that one again because I'm not so sure. Um, let me see. It doesn't sound. However, it's important to, not to frighten a hedgehog. Hmm. However, let me see. I'm going to put a little dot in there. I'm not so sure. And they form a strong bonds with their owners. In fact, it's important not to frighten a hedgehog. I don't know. After that, it's important not to frighten. After that, no. Uh, so I have however, and I have in fact, I'm going to read them again aloud to myself to listen to the best choice. They form strong bonds with their owners. However, it's important not to frighten a hedgehog, especially when it's still getting to know you. Good. Okay, let's try the other one. For, um, and they form strong bonds with their owners. In fact, it's important not to frighten a hedgehog. In fact, in fact, it's used to explain something more. So I'm thinking, in fact, it's important. Not, I, I don't think this quite, this one quite fits. So I will say, yes, how they are they will build a strong relationship with you however not do not frighten your hedgehog okay that's what it means however is the best choice okay let's try the next one let me move my paper roland would like to add a sentence to the beginning of the fourth paragraph Sentence 11 to 14. To introduce ideas in this paragraph, which of the following will be the best sentence to just add before sentence 11? So whatever all the instructions mean, just one thing. They want me to add before sentence 11. Which one of these four can I add before sentence 11? That's what the question is asking us to do. So I need my sentence 11. I'm going to move this aside. I'm going to find my sentence 11. My sentence 11 is right here. My, and it's talking about... Let me use my green. These animals don't shed the way some dogs and cats do. Okay? These animals don't shed the way dogs and cats do. It's saying something nice, like an advantage of having them as pets. Okay? So, I'm going to look for my choices. Roland would like to include this. Okay. Before sentence 11. Before saying that they don't shed like cats and dogs. A hedgehog is a hard pet to care for. Okay, that is actually a negative idea. This is a negative idea. Is saying, oh, it's very bad. But then, oh, but you know what? They don't shed. So these are opposite. 
A hedgehog is a hard pet to care for. No. Hedgehogs don't shed, bark, or scratch the furniture. And then it says again that they don't shed like cats and dogs. Why would you repeat it? Right? No. The hedgehog will be the perfect companion for you. They don't shed like cats and dogs. They could be. Right? I'm going to put a dot in there. There are many reasons why hedgehogs make great pets. They don't shed like cats and dogs. That's one reason. They are great. They don't shed like cats and dogs. This one is actually my best choice. Okay? Okay. Question five. Which sentence should Roland add at the end of the paper to bring it to a better close? So at the end, I'm going to do a line that at the end of the paper okay like a conclusion i'm gonna read a little bit the last sentence in the passage so i can get an idea let's read that i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger it's too um there we go if you are seriously considering getting a hedgehog you need to know that you won't find one in an ordinary pet store hedges are considered exotic pets so you'll have to go to the to a hedgehog breeder mm, okay so they don't sell them around the corner you need someone special okay mm, that's the idea of that little paragraph right there i'm gonna think about it a for people who don't think they want a hedgehog for a pet we can talk about another unusual animal next no this is not a conclusion it's actually a promise of some or of talking about something else no uh, B. I'm going to look on the internet to find a hedgehog breeder right now. Why would you do that? Why would the writer do that or, or write that? C. If you are in the market for something unusual, this little animal could be the perfect pet for you. Actually, this one could be because it re restates the main idea of the paper. Let's see letter D. And it seems like the perfect time for me to close this paper by saying that hedges are great. Would you ever write that at the end? I don't think so. So the best, you don't do that. <laughs> so the best choice, I'm going to use my red one, is this one right here. If you're in the market for something unusual, this little animal could be the perfect pet for you. And that is a restatement uh, of my beginning, paper, the beginning of my paper, where I'm trying to persuade you to get a hedgehog. Okay, and that was it.